Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you my Vine Design Matchbox. As you can see, it's a cute little design, little matchbox. It has a little drawer inside. I've used the gorgeous, pa uh, gorgeous paper blooms DSP here that is a celebration paper. Um, <clears throat> but yes, it's a beautiful bundle that I absolutely adore. So let's go ahead and make it. So for the outer side of your box, the sleeve, um, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is 5 by 11, which is 13 by 28 and a half centimetres. On the short side, we're going to score at 1 inch. And we're going to rotate <coughs> anti-clockwise and we're going to score at one sorry that one inch there is two and a half centimeters the long side is one five six and ten and then centimeters that will be two and a half thirteen fifteen and a half and twenty six okay fold and burnish as four lines nice pretty and simple box here that you could put some chocolates in some jewelry anything like that really okay so we're then going to decide which way round you want your box to be whichever piece you use to overlap then this will be the bottom okay so you've got the join at the bottom <clears throat> so we need to cut away this corner here but literally just a straight square. Okay, simple as that. We're then going to put adhesive under here. And I also want to put some, I'm just going to grab my silicon mat here. I also want to put some on, oops, I didn't cut them, did I? Silly me. You need to cut these parts here. <laughs> otherwise it doesn't work there we go so <clears throat> yes I need to add adhesive on these parts here and then get off you don't need to be on there so I'm going to fold this piece here then that one will fold over the top then you open it up, we'll pop those in there and pop that one down and then I just need some adhesive on here and that will fold down there. Just give that a little press. So there is your basic matchbox type sleeve. Then for your drawer you will need a piece of cardstock that is 5 and 13 sixteenths by 5 and 13 sixteenths and I'm going to need my trimmer for this one because we then need to score all four sides at 15 sixteenths of an inch so it's just under one inch so your car stock will need to be 15.2 by 15.2 centimeters and you will score at 2.3 on all four sides measurements will all be on my blog so don't forget if you didn't hear or catch what I said or you couldn't write it down quick enough then by all means go and have a look they're all over on my blog and don't forget as well that I'm always looking for wonderful people to join my team so if you want to come and join the Stampettes and come and have some fun then please do all the information is on my blog and if you're really not sure and you want to ask more questions then please just contact me I promise I won't bite <laughs> okay so fold and burnish all of those corners all of those lines sorry and then we're just going to cut the wedges out of all the four corners here okay and once we've done that 
and we are then going to adhere them. Before I do that though, I just want to grab my one and a half inch circle punch and which way around this way. Choose which side you want to have as the front, and then as you can see, as I always do, I'm just eyeballing the distance there either side to try and gauge this as being central and just take a tiny little bit out. Then we can pop adhesive on these pieces here and fasten them together. And this is petal pink that I'm using. As you know, one of my favourites. And then this will just slide inside. And there you have your nice little drawer that you can fill with goodies. Now, of course, we need to pop some of our D DSP inside. And this just measures... If I can get this right... I think... Three and six eighths by three and six eighths of an inch or 9.6 by 9.6 centimetres. And then I'm just going to pop that in the base there. Excuse my head if it gets in just for a second. And there we go. So there's my beautiful draw liner. Okay, so now to decorate the top. So you will need two pieces of cardstock again. Your coloured cardstock is three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths or 10 by 10 centimetres. And your whisper white is three and six eighths by three and six eighths, 9.6 by 9.6. So the first thing I'm gonna do here, and you're gonna think I'm crazy, layer these up and adhere them. So I'm gonna go straight round all of the edges here and then I'm going to add a couple across the centre there. Layer this on top. Okay. Then you need your layering circles. And then one ready. I think this is the third from the largest. Now, will this fit? Oh my goodness, this will just fit, and I mean just fit in your baby boss. And when I say just fit, I literally mean there's no, there's no room for error here. It will literally just run. Now, if you're not happy to do that, by all means, use your larger, larger boss. I'm just going to be brave, try it out. So you want this to sit in the centre. Now if you want to measure in all of that, feel free. But you should know by now I don't generally do that. And then let's run this through and hope it doesn't destroy the card too much. Now again remember this is cutting through double card thickness. Okay, let's have a little look. Has it done what I wanted it to? Yes, it has. So it's taken out my double thickness there. Okay, it has trashed my card a little bit, so maybe we won't try it that way next time. Everything's moved. Okay, so I'm just gonna get my bone folder out, just scraping those edges. So yeah, it was a trial. It didn't work, we won't do that in future. Okay, so this is going to sit on here. However, we need to pop some DSP on first. And I always wanted to try and get the beautiful large flower in the centre. So, my first job is to just, and I did just cut this freehand, like that looks like it's about the right size. So I'm just gonna put a notch there. So I know that I need to trim that down there and then my my flower should sit fairly central 
Okay, so possibly going to trim just a fraction more off there. So this is where it gets brave now. <laughs> Put adhesive on your DSP. Because it's easier to do it this way, trust me. Pop it to one side, flip this over and pop your dimensionals on. Now I have to confess again when I did this one I actually used the edges of my um, dimensionals just because A it was quicker and I had a sheet that I was finishing off so I thought well that seems almost too perfect so I just did that but if you haven't got one that's nearly finished or you've just started a fresh one then you just simply whack dimensionals on right so take the dimensionals off here or take the backing off rather you know what I mean I think my brain stopped working today <laughs> I can't seem to say the right things then silicon mat flower so you can now make sure that this is where you want it to be then you obviously peel this off your silicone mat and pop it on your box okay now if you need to take the drawer out turn this over give it a little gentle pat to make sure you've got that stuck down draw back in pretty flower on the top okay so next is our beautiful vine design that does fit in the baby trust me right so there's my card I will need to cut it down flowering vine dies look at these OMG if I can separate them there's two sheets here look at all of those beautiful whoops beautiful dies oh my goodness so beautiful so we're going with round one like I said I will need to cut this down but obviously I wanted to make sure I got enough so trim this down so it's the right size <coughs> pop it through my baby boss oh handles the wrong side Let's try that one again, shall we? I don't quite know why this seems so stiff, but it does. Okay. Get rid of these little bits, because I do need to use this plate again in a second. Pop that out of the way for a minute. And then... We have our beautiful vine, our vine design. So, piercing tool, get rid of all the negatives because I don't need those. Okay, get off, get off, thank you. Right, so as you can see, this is a full image. I didn't use the full image so what I did was I got my paper snips and this is going to be interesting now because I need to try and follow what I did <laughs> how I did this let's just see yes right so I went along and snipped out um, can't remember where I snipped <laughs> so 
so. Did I snip that? Okay, well I'm guessing I snipped there. And then there. 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 That's right, because it separates the whole vine, if you like. Okay, so you can save those for another project if you want, but I then cut the centre out, as it were. Pop this over, and then I used glue dots, but I folded them in half and popped them on the leaves. Okay, so just take them out, fold them in half. Oh, crumbs, don't get stuck to that. And I just worked my way round. So adding... As I said, I just sort of added them to the leaves because they were the easier bits to to do. And that one's rubbish, didn't go right, get off. <clears throat> Excuse me, little, little frog. Hold that one and then just one more on here. And then I used the part with the gap that I was going to put here because it's hidden then under your sentiment. I just popped this on just like so. And then finally, a bit of Whisper White, beautiful vine design stamp. I love this font. I think it is really pretty. Thinking of you, because then I can just pop some chocolates in here at some point and give to someone. And then I want my petal pink. Stamp that on there. Just close this up out of the way. Back in with my um, dies, and there's this beautiful long one for your sentiment. So I'm going to pop that on there. That, oops, will go on there. And then there we go. That just go wonky. It did, didn't it? Very nearly. Oh, come on. Behave. Thank you very much. And we'll just run that one through. And then, as you can see with this one, I added some of the um, scalloped linen ribbon and I just cut it in half down here and used the backing either side. I don't have that in petal pink, but I do have this metallic edge. And I did wonder if... Yes, I think I will. So I'm actually going to use, because I find it easier. Oh no, actually, I don't need to do that. So I'm going to use my Seal Plus. Run that on there. And then just simply add... Right, I'm going to use my grid paper here, I think, as a guide. Same again here, use my grid paper as a guide and then as you can see you've got the edge and I just sort of went with the um, shape of the die cut just to trim those edges there. There 
we go. And then, last touch is to just pop your dimensionals. Now I did add a double dimensional to the centre because I did think it's going to be too much to, for it to be sat either side here and I want it to adhere there but it will dip because this is already dimensional high so I just added a second one onto it and then simply pop this again covering your little join just there again take that drawer out if you need to just do a little press and there you have it my vine design matchbox hope you like them thanks for joining me and i'll see you all again soon